Hi, I'm Colleen. And I'm Kayla. Welcome to our Craft Renewed Adventures. Today's craft is called Oven Baked Clay Sculpting. So we're going to make little bowls like this. There's a pinch pot and this kind of regular circle pot. And you can put things like jewelry, trinkets in them, and they're a really nice DIY decor item, which is pretty easy to make. So what you're going to need is, I would use uh, three different colors, maybe you could do four, you could do a white or a neutral color, um, or maybe both, you could do a white and a neutral, like a pale tan color. Um, we didn't have that today, so we're just going with white, and that'll help with the marble effect. You're going to need two accent colors, so I have uh, you know, really bright colors, we have a yellow and a pink, and you're going to need twice as much of your neutral uh, color as of your little accent colors to get a really kind of nice uh, marble color. I think with these we used um, yellow, blue, and white, I believe, um, and they turned out like this. You're going to need a rolling pin and two kinds of oven safe bowls. And then if you want, you can paint the edges. And I think this time we'll, we're going with this rose metallic, rose shimmer metallic uh, paint. And we're gonna try that on the outside this time. We'll see how that turns out. So what you're gonna need to do is pick your colors, warm them up with your hands. Um, and then once they're warm and malleable, you're going to make little snakes out of them, like you used to do when you were a kid. You're gonna roll them out. Oops, and you're gonna do them each separately before we start combining them. And then I'm gonna separate them and put a couple in between. So you wanna put it in a pattern. This might be three because it's twice as long. Put this one here, put this one here. Okay, so once you have this kind of a pattern and you have all of them in snakes, you are going to take them all and twist them like this and then roll them out again. And this twisting is what's going to give you that marble effect and the more you basically twist them, the finer is going to be the effect. So, like, if you just do it once, you're going to get one color and one very long strip. But if you basically keep twisting it around itself, hopefully some of those other colors will start to come out. And you just keep going until you feel like it's good marble color. All the colors are coming through and you feel like it's a good representation of what you have. There's a fine line between going overboard <laughs> and being done. So let's twist it one more time. See, we're getting very fine lines now as you can see between the yellow and the pink. And that's what I basically wanted. It's pretty even. So, once you're happy with that, you're going to roll it up and turn it into a ball instead of a snake. Now you want to look and figure out which side is the best side because you want that part on the inside. So you want whichever is your favorite to this one's the most striking because it has that yellow sticking out. So I think this is going to be my middle. And then you're going to take a rolling pin or you could take like a clear see-through glass, anything that'll roll. And you are going to roll it out. And you want it to be um, like a quarter of an inch thick. So you want it to be pretty thin but not so thin that it's going to flop everywhere. Pretty, you want it to be a pretty even. So 
circle and you want to get all those you see those air bubbles you want to get all those air bubbles out if you can because otherwise those air bubbles are going to stay in your piece and you don't really want air bubbles in there okay so now you can really see your marbled effect going on I think I might have going a little bit overboard because I have a lot of yellow in there, but I do like the, the pink that's coming through. I'm gonna stick with this. So, now take one of your bowls, and this is gonna be the size of your bowl. You're gonna pick the middle, then you can take an X-Acto knife and go around cutting out your shape. And of course, we're gonna paint over the edges, so it's okay if they're not perfect you won't really be able to tell. Lift your bowl off. Oof. And take it off. Okay, now you've got your bowl. And then the rest of it, you could either make a bead or you can make a second bowl. So what I might try to do is get a second bowl out of this. We'll see if that works. Um, but with the first one, you can either put it over top of the bowl. Um, I've heard that that works sometimes better in terms of cooking or baking, but you could also put it inside the bowl and what you can do is this is your pinch pot type. So it'll already start forming flaps when you push it in, but then you can kind of just help it along with a few more flaps. And you definitely want it to have a bottom. So Make sure you can press down. Maybe you could try with this just to press down so you do have a bottom sticking there. This is really where you just get to kind of play and figure out the look of your bowl. Do you want really tight little waves or do you want bigger waves? It's really up to you. Whatever it stays in in this form, it's going to bake in and then it's going to stay there permanently. So make sure you like the way it looks. I'm going to stop fidgeting and I'm going to put that to the side. Let's try with this one and see if we can get one more and we'll try it the other way where it goes over top. Okay, so I have my two bowls. You can see the pinch pot in one and then on the top of one bowl we're gonna make a smaller one. So this is our Amico polymer clay oven, and we have a little aluminum foil sheet here. We're gonna put both bowls inside of it. Stick it in the oven. Close it up, and we're gonna set the temperature for 270 degrees for 15 minutes. Like that, and we're gonna let them cook up, and then we'll come back our finished product. All right, so it looks like our timer just went off. We're going to carefully grab our pots out of here. So the very last thing to do once it's out of the oven is to paint the edges. So I like this one the most. I'm just going to show you how to paint the edges for this one. We chose our, remember, rose shimmer metallic paint, and we're just going to stick our brush in there and start painting the edges. defines the edges more of the pot and I think it really gives it a nice finished look. Mm -hmm. 
all done. Now you can keep your small items together in this beautiful handcrafted bowl. We hope you enjoyed today's craft. Most projects we demonstrate can be made in under an hour and require a few basic tools or supplies. Have questions or suggestions for future videos? Use the comment section below and we'll add it to our list. Thanks for watching and remember the Makerspace mantra. The only limit is your imagination. imagination.